Hi, I'm Brian Neary, a commercial real estate advisor with Newmark Grubb Knife Frank. With us today, we have CEO and founder Earl Knight of Go Babble. Hi, I'm Earl Knight, and I'm the CEO and founder of Go Babble, a social media monitoring and engagement platform. We help small to big sized businesses um, reach out to people locally on social media. I was playing basketball. I was in a very small room. Um, and um, I was just thinking to myself, you know, hold on, Earl, um, where is everybody at, right? Like, you know, where is, um, you know, where are people doing things? I didn't know. And, and there was no, uh, you know, Instagram wasn't a thing at, a t- at the time. Twitter only was about celebrities. Facebook was my college friends. Uh, there was no Tinder. Um, <laughs> so, you know, when, you know, if I Googled what were people doing in uh, Sweden, it just told me about attractions. And that wasn't good enough. I mean, I could go to attraction, but I didn't know if that's where, I didn't know if that's what the general sense of the people were doing. Um, so, um, I was like, okay, if people are already talking on social media, why, if I can find the longitude and latitude of all of those social posts, I can put them in a little app and, you know, I can find out what people are doing, right? Just type in whatever keyword I'm looking for and say, all right, I can go there because there's a more majority of the people there. So I came home, um, from Sweden, um, I had a very short stint of playing basketball, maybe, you know, a month and a half, you know, to two. Um, and it, they just weren't paying me enough, honestly. Um, and I came home uh, and I was, I was thinking to myself, all right, Earl, you had this idea. Um, who can you have build it? Uh, or who can build it? Because I, I didn't know um, how to code at the time. And, and I still don't, actually. <laughs> um, so my friend uh, said, hey, Earl, I've got a friend over in Princeton. Um, why don't you talk to him? You know, me and him, we got together. Um, and he started building the first prototype and actually saying, yeah, this is possible. And let's go on from here. So, yeah, that's kind of how I thought of the idea of geo-targeting social media posts um, and social posts in general. Um, and kind of took it from being in a mobile app, um, which was iOS at the time, uh, to now being a SaaS um, web platform, which, you know, really big companies um, and really big news stations and, um, you know, like a lot of people use. So that's kind of cool. Geofencing is um, taking an area uh, geographically um, and actually aggregating data um, well, this is the, the process of how we do it. We aggregate data from a, um, from a geographical location. Um, we filter it by whether it's a uh, polygon or um, by radius. Um, and we actually aggregate the data coming from each social API. Um, sometimes we scrape data, um, so it might be coming from a website. And if it's coming from a website, then it's, we're not using an API, we're just doing some web crawling. Um, but th- that's really the process of actually getting a geofencing and looking at an area. We go by longitude and latitude all the time, um, and it's really down to the centimeter. So uh, we kind of know, ex- we can pinpoint exactly what's happening at any area.